60 miles an hour the Parliament speech, which is what they advertised, was pretty fast in 1912. It was fast, light, inexpensive, and it only lasted one year. And then the other on the quadrant of the steering wheel is a, the, a throttle. The throttle is kind of like the equivalent of a cruise control. It opens up the carburetor and lets more or less gas in, letting the most gas in in the beginning when you want to start, then as you go along adjusting it appropriately. Now what Kevin is doing is pumping up the uh, pressure inside the gas tank. <laughs> Those are 41 inch wheels and if you look at them you know why they're 41 inch wheels because it, when, when you uh, when you stop <laughs> not the, not always the most easy to start. By the way, these wheels here are Michelin racing wheels. Very rare. Very few uh, examples of those are known to exist because they broke up during a race. Uh, and where you went through several tires because tires before World War II looked like this. We had this this car, this came with the car, and I think it was a relic, but rubber's natural color is white. It wasn't until they added carbon to it to make it stronger that it made it more reliable. But this is the way they were when these cars raced, like you have on that car. So you may go through four or five sets of tires in a long race. What it involved changing a tire was you had to unscrew the whole wheel, take it off, and then put a new wheel with a tire on it. With this, with this device here, you could put a crank in there, separate the rubber uh, tire from the wheel, and it'll not only have, you only had to change the rubber tire, not the whole wheel, which made the changes faster. Come on, baby. All right. start because it was too heavy with the starter you had to have simplifying uh, you had to have a, a battery and you had to have the weight of the starter so when these cars were sports cars they, they in fact you could you can see the lights come off and on and the lights are not run by electricity they're run by gas so 
uh, so why why go to the trouble? Because guys in those days could turn seven liter engines. <laughs> Turning this engine is tough, uh, and you were going to see Kevin give it a try. Good luck. It, this is a this is an effort. What he's doing is adjusting the spark, which determines the, uh, the time at which the, uh, spark, the uh, spark plug fires, and also the throttle, which opens the carburetor for more or less gas.
better way of advertising. Uh, they were they were fast. They were sporty. This also has a cutout, so Kevin will uh, show that. But that was part of the sporty thing. I have to say, Kevin himself restored this car completely uh, when he got it. It needed an awful lot of work. He did everything that you see personally when he was working for Ralph Buckley. And, um, it's a beautiful job, very reliable, we love it. It also has a starter, which is a, uh, not cheater because by 1913, uh, any cars were going to be from the factory with starters. Although they usually had stronger batteries. <laughs> Tommy's a little advanced, it's actually hard to change. Yeah. Uh, we might. It'll start if we get a Besides cranking and starters, there's a third way of getting this started, starting a car, which you're now going to see. <laughs> Go, go, push, go, 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 push, harder, harder, go. 